Make sure it's bind properly in place. I start with this one on the uh, upper right corner because it's uh, the worst one to get. The bow is very long, so don't fight to get it out. It's gonna come out when uh, it's gonna stay with the uh, engine support. Doesn't matter because we cannot take out this part here. Try to hold it not to damage that hose, even though it's just aluminum. First off, we remove the uh, oil return line underneath the turbos. So this is this. Uh, you can see it's a uh, kind of a lozen lozenges uh, flange here. It's got two bolts. Hard to see, but you got one here. Let me try to show you. Yeah, like one here and the other one up there. The other one is like underneath here. This one there. So this is for one side. This hose here. This one, hold on. This one here. And then we got this one. This one right here. Same thing. Two bolts underneath. We got one bolt there, the other bolt there. So we want to remove those. And uh, at the bottom, you got uh, one screw here right here it's gonna be uh, the pipe is fits in here with a with an o-ring so you gotta pull it uh, straight in the same axis as the hole uh, if you go gentle for the o-ring to pass by and this is the other one right here at the bottom right here same thing you can see you look at the angle that the pipe goes in the uh, the pipe here is like on an angle, so you gotta you gotta move it out same way as the angle. Let me try to show you. So the pipe is on an angle. You gotta go out same as the angle it gets in the block. This is how the way it's gonna get out. These are. Uh the bolt on that flange are Torx 27. Hard to reach. Maybe some rust in there. You don't want to miss them. Make sure it's all the way in. 
it would be a bad place to strip a boat. This one comes off easily. This is like a, like a typical exhaust flange on an exhaust uh, pipe where you got this hole in the middle, two little bolts and a, a pattern with a gasket in there. This is exactly what it is. This one there at the bottom, I just want to wipe my hands. Try gentle also as you pull. There it is. So that's the little seal that was on top here underneath the turbo. Of course the, these needs to be replaced. You can see the flange here. And the other one is an O-ring. So I'm gonna replace all the O-rings. This is a hard to reach spot so I don't want to, sometimes you don't have the time to do the job once or you don't have the budget to do it once but then you, you definitely doesn't have don't have it uh, to do it twice so it's a hard job to reach that point so when you're there you know for a matter of a few uh, it's probably like a, a dollar an o-ring or something maybe a few cents you want to get all of those new so it's going to be off your mind it's hard to see but same thing underneath just make sure it's all the way in okay this one here hard to reach with my tool yeah maybe i'll get it yeah this one is hard to reach so what I'm going to do, instead of uh, trying to fight my way there, I'm going to strip it. I'll show you. So the boat at the bottom, not the one up front, but the one on the rear, on that uh, return line, for the front turbo is a bit hard to uh, reach because of this pipe here. The steel pipe goes along and it's a bit in the way, so in, uh, there's no need to try to... Uh, force a uh, way in and uh, strip the head of the boat so I have to remove those anyways so these boat uh, these two holes sorry they hold with this one single bolt here uh, it's like a flange that is welded to this uh, head here and uh, both flanges they overlap and that boat hold them in place in the turbos so I'm gonna remove that one pop these two out and then it's going to be very easy to reach that one on the rear and it's going to make my life easier in order not to strip that uh, boat same tool if it doesn't get in properly you just use the hammer
little bitter with a big screwdriver for that. Good to know. Not that you need a lot of strength, it's just you want to you want to do it uh, from a remote distance. Don't pry on the hose, pry on the head, or on the head there is also like a, a groove. So if you're going to need to pry, you insert your screwdriver on the, on the groove. I'll show you right after. Or underneath the flange. Yeah, underneath the flange will work better. There we go. So I set the screwdriver on the uh, on the uh, housing like this one here to pry. This is how I was able to achieve it. That might leak. So maybe get ready with some towels. Yeah. Some coolant left. Can see, but the O rings are oops, don't, don't stretch it too much. The O rings are uh, there's a bit of rust on it, so because it's been sitting there for a long time, so it's always good to replace those. As I said, the uh, second one's going to be easier because there's a big groove. Well, I'm saying that and it's not sure. Same thing, gentle with the turbo, and it works magic. Might be some uh, coolant left on that one too, but I don't think so. Yeah, because it's going inside and going out through the lower hole. So now it should be easier to access this. Uh, now it should be easier to access it from the bottom. Because the only one that is in the way is the hose that we're trying to remove itself. good practice is to dispose your stuff in a way that you know what belongs where so I put my hose on one side the one from that side and the other one on the other side then I'm gonna have to clean them and store them properly make your life easier for when it's time to assemble things reassemble things Just by shaking it a bit, it comes along quite easy. So that's the uh, one from the for the front turbo, and that's the one for the uh, rear turbo on the transmission side, crankshaft turbo side. Seal is here. So again, this one is for the pulley side. This one is the transmission side. So now, to, now time to clean up and uh, store things properly then we keep going now it's time to remove uh, th this big pipe here that was the one going down to uh, the water pump the one that we remove uh, in the end so again it's the same tool we need to remove first these two holes
Okay, they're very long. More than expected. Now it's time to uh, pry these uh, holes out. You pry with the uh, flange. Daylight saving time. Early Sunday morning, so basically when you go to bed Saturday night, move the clocks back a little bit, going to daylight savings time, and then moving back an hour. I think it's always the second one that's the toughest, because even though we lose an hour of sleep when we go into daylight savings time and gain an hour of sleep when we come off it, still, the daylight try to rock so it much by under shorter. the flange here, and by the, the, is on the head here. You gotta be careful but, not to uh, damage the aluminum that, that where it screws. But trying to adjust me, you that's the best way to, to do so. Day, also, try not to uh, kink the hose on the shield, on the heat shield, when you pull on it. So, once this is done, there's a uh, four screws around that flange here to remove that hose make sure it's all the way in obviously in case you didn't notice that hose is this one here it's going under the shield. So same here. So I'm lucky uh, it's also in place with an O-ring. I think it's an O-ring, some kind of a, some kind of a novel shape of O-ring. So now this is free. Our next step was to remove this and now I'm going to remove this one as well. It's hard to see, but the same thing as here one bolt in the middle. So let's do that right away. Then it's going to be cleaning, storage of components, and then I'll be back with the turbo dismantle. Disassembly, removal. So the one at the bottom overlapping the other one, so this is the one we gotta start with. Rocking it, gentle. 
That's how you do this. Choosing between to be an easier one to pick out. Pressure relief system and thermal sensitive foam infused with gel crystals can quickly become a nightmare. <laughs> want to sleep like a baby? At Burley Martin, you gotta go with the host like I do. You gotta go easy. You don't want to change those. The largest choice, the best brands, specialty products, and a unique financing plan. All under the same roof. Burley Martin knows about quality. All good. All been removed. So now it's time to uh, clean a bit. We now have we now have to uh, remove. Uh, there were two holes here. The one at the bottom is uh, stuck with the heat shield. As you can see, one here. This is the one for this is the one for the other side. That is the lowest. The upper one. It's got to be removed. It's. Uh, It is right here, and the screw is here. So this hose, the one that goes from the upper side, if you follow it, it's going right here on the back, and there's a bracket to bolt it here. So we're gonna need to unbolt that, pull out that hose. Same thing on the other side. So the other side is this hose here. If you follow it, it's going right here. This is the boat with the flange. So same thing. We remove those two boats, remove those two hose. That's the step we're doing now. This one was the uh, toughest to. These were the toughest to remove. So in order to pry a bit with the screwdriver, I was able to pry here at the uh, at the clip of the hose. So of course you don't go nuts with that don't want to damage that um, but to help it to pry like you pry a bit and then you pull the hose and you with a screwdriver you rock it from side to side this was uh, performed by setting the screwdriver hold on so this was performed by setting the screwdriver this is the front turbo pipe by setting it like that here on the side and pry it gentle on this uh, this uh, bigger diameter here as I said gentle the other one we don't have the same uh, luxury so it's a different setup I was able to put a big flat screwdriver let me try to show you that I was able to insert a big flat screwdriver here on the side just slightly inside and with putting it straight up like that I was able to pry here by moving slightly forward inside this uh, this clip here inside here this is how I did both of those because they were, they're a bit hard to pass the o-ring. Now it's uh, time to remove uh, the heat shield inside the turbos. And in order to perform that, we first uh, this hose here that's behind behind the heat shield is uh, kind of stuck with this rod here. This is the actuator. For the Westgate, this is the uh, Westgate leverage. Uh, this thing here is uh, it's like a disc, and there is a it's a seal diaphragm in between. So on that side, when you give vacuum to that thing, it's gonna pull the diaphragm, which is gonna pull the rod, and it's gonna activate your Westgate. So in order to free that thing, we're just gonna remove this uh, retaining retaining ring here. That should make us enough room to free that. Yeah. So let's put it back so we don't lose it. So this is done. So now to start uh, performing this uh, removal of the heat shield, we need to remove this little plate here. There's four four bolts at the bottom. That's what we're going to do now, removing these bolts. One of them actually holds to the heat shield. Um, 
on each of those. The other one is to uh, fix the plate at the uh, engine block. This one is a bit stuck, a bit stiff, not stuck, but a bit stiff. Lucky enough, it's not uh, jammed with rust or anything. That should free the hose once this is uh, removed. On that side, at least. So let's keep the hose on the proper side they are, so it's easier to know what what the lungs were. And. Um, I'm going to try to remove the other hose as well. This one is stuck here. If I remove that bolt, that should uh, help to free it maybe. Let's try that. Again, you make sure that you... Uh, you can always already slack the other bolts. There are four bolts in fact for the heat shield. At least that's what I think it is. So two at the top, two at the bottom. We're just gonna slack them off so we can finish it by by end. Okay. This one here because it's closer. Removing the heat shield is going to be a bit of a, a little puzzle because it's um, it's kind of a tight space behind the turbos. Unless we're lucky and it just fell off, which I doubt. Oh, not so bad. Mm, not so bad, not so good. Okay, so you turn it a bit like that, then it's gonna be easier. Okay, well, let's slide the other bolts. This one. That one went uh, very well. <laughs> That's the easy one. Okay, so uh, now it's going to be up to removing this bolt here to free that hose. These are the... Uh, let me try to see this. Okay, these are hoses that goes on the top of the turbos, both sides, here, you can see, that one here. 
so they they both join here at the middle so you need to free that uh, boat there in order to uh, and there's a like a snap of an o-ring uh, so it's gonna be a bit of a headache but not so not so bad anyway it has to be made that board in the middle is a uh, Torx 40 might be messy like mine you, I clean it a bit with a screwdriver and bang it so now it's a clear shot oh that's bad Oh, maybe the 45 will do. Maybe it was a 45. There goes the silence armor. For music copyrights. Bang, bang, bang. <laughs> Yeah, that was a 45. Torx 45. Yeah. That was much easier. Yeah, that would be easier if I remove those on top. They're just like this one. One boat only. Okay, this is a bit tricky to reach so there's no much rooch out there so I use one of these bit older it's uh, it's the same torch I was using that you fit in there and a wrench key it's gonna help doing that wanna make sure it's in properly This is only one bolt per side. I grab the pipe from behind and I gently rock it and I insert a screwdriver up front of it. Same thing the other side. It's not free. It's a matter of now of making this split here. This one is, uh, is snapped kind of on the block. So now it's time to remove the turbos themselves. Basically, not so complicated. You need to unscrew all of those around on the uh, exhaust manifold they are in two parts I'm gonna start with this one because of that hose if my memory is right some you cannot put the socket on because it's too tight yeah these two at the bottom you cannot put the socket but I just noticed seems to be a Torx in there I'm gonna start with these one that, are, that the socket doesn't fit in because it's going to help since the flange is going to be um, held in place by the others so it's the two at the bottom here in the middle so uh, we need a 11 milliliter wrench that's really not ideal typically we don't want to use a wrench key open end for strength One is now loose. Let's lose the other one in here. It seems to be fifty.
gently with the silence hammer, bang it in place. Make sure it's all the way in. We cannot bang it too deep, so they have to be stuck before we do that. Because it gives stress on the uh, exhaust manifold here with the socket. As they're gonna come out, the uh, socket's gonna get more room with the exhaust manifold, so it's gonna get easier to unscrew. If you got a torch uh, socket with a longer torch bit, it would be easier. Some of them they come along with the studs, some they don't. Doesn't really matter. It's gonna come out anyway. Thank you. 
Well, that's it. This is the first turbo to take off, to be taken off. Same thing going on for turbos here. Slag these two at the bottom. Then we go on with the torques, take those out. I'll keep going with that. There's no uh, nothing special more than what you see already. It's just a matter of cleaning the other turbo and then removing these bolts around here, just like the other one. Same thing. We will address that later on. The hose has been removed by pulling it out uh, straight, just like the direction of the bolt that was in the hole at the bottom holding the two holes together with a bracket it's uh, holding in place with uh, an o-ring that is uh, preventing it to go out so you just pry it out <laughs> 